everyone! Welcome back to Minty Kids! Today, we're going to be reading this wonderful book called Right Now, I Am Brave Written by Dr. Daniela Owen and illustrated by Gulce Basik Brought to us and published by Puppies, Dogs, and Ice Cream, Inc. Check the description below for a link which will take you to their site so you may purchase your own copy for your home library. Anyway, let's get to it. Sometimes, things can feel really scary. These may be things that other kids find scary too. Or they may be things that most kids don't find scary at all. When the things we find scary are not actually dangerous, then it's time to be brave. It's not dangerous. It's okay to be scared, but you've got this. You can do it. You can handle it. Being brave is about facing something that is scary or hard for you to deal with. Sometimes we choose to be brave because it's the right thing to do. Leave him alone. Firefighters, astronauts, and soldiers are all brave, and their jobs are really hard. When something feels scary, our brains may tell us to run away, go and hide, or stay away no matter what. But we don't always have to listen to what our brains tell us. Sometimes our brains play tricks on us and tell us something is scarier than it actually is. That slide looks like it's 1,000 feet high. You can't do it. Think back. Have you ever been worried, nervous, or scared to do something new? Then once you did it, you were so glad you did. Being brave is tough. It's tough for firefighters, astronauts, and soldiers. It can be tough for kids, too. But you can do it. You are brave. Go for it. Be courageous. You've got this. One way to be brave is to talk to yourself in an encouraging way. When your brain is saying, not so fast, tell yourself, I can handle it. Then you will feel much more confident and brave. How about you give it a try? I can do this. I am brave. Even though I feel scared right now, I can do this. I am brave. Cheering ourselves on is one of the best ways to help us be brave. You're courageous. Go for it. You've got this. Another way to help ourselves feel brave is by making a plan to do something brave. When we set a goal and make a promise to ourselves, we are more likely to achieve our goal. Say hi to two new people at ballet class on Saturday. When the time comes to do the brave thing, remember, I made a promise to myself and I'll be very glad that I kept my promise. What helps the most is doing something brave and discovering that you can handle it. Once we do something brave, we are always glad we did. We feel extremely proud of ourselves, which makes it a tiny bit easier to be brave the next time. A great thing to do after we have been brave is to reward ourselves. Being brave is tough, and when we accomplish tough things, it's nice to give ourselves a reward. We can reward ourselves with a pat on the back a self-hug, or by telling ourselves how great it is that we chose to be brave. You're a champion. Remind yourself, right now, I am brave. Right now, I am brave. Well, everyone, we have finally reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for reading with me, and I wanted to thank you all for getting me to 1,000 subscribers. Remember, to be brave, try a few simple things like mentioned in this book, such as encouraging yourself. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for this week, 
for more videos and stories like this one. Bye!